the second the blast goes off, I get stuck in a hurricane. A hurricane of glass, rocks, metal. It was uh, like apocalyptic. It took me a split second. I'm thinking that I'm definitely gonna die. All we hear is people screaming. And that was like a, a movie scene. Rochelle Boumelham was walking distance to Beirut's port area when two explosions tore through the city. I saw the big orange cloud. It was the most orange color I've ever seen in my life. The orange red color of the smoke that Rochelle is describing was caused by nitrous oxide, a byproduct of ammonium nitrate decomposition. 2,750,000 tons of ammonium nitrate fertilizer had been unsafely stored in a fireworks warehouse for six years on the Beirut waterfront. On August 4th, that stockpile exploded, killing some 200 people, injuring at least 6,000 and displacing nearly a quarter of a million. So what is this seemingly simple fertilizer that caused such destruction in Beirut? It's a white crystalline solid. It looks like sugar. And we use it for normally for fertilizer because it has this um, nitrogen. You put it on the soil and it gives a lot of goodness to the soil. So it's used a lot by farmers. The chemical compound was first made artificially in 1659 by the German chemist Johann Rudolf Glauber. And in wartime, Large-scale production of ammonium nitrate began in the 1940s when it was used for munitions during wartime. After the end of World War II, the odorless substance became available as a commercial fertilizer. It is also the main component in many types of mining explosives. Ammonium nitrate by itself is relatively harmless. It does not burn on its own. Instead, it acts as a source of oxygen that can accelerate the combustion or burning of other materials. If added to a fuel source and subjected to intense stresses like heat and pressure, it can explode. Although we do not know exactly what happened yet in Beirut, the sheer size of the ammonium nitrate stockpile offers some clues. Well, it was huge, huge quantities. And not only was it so, so big, um, it was old. The ammonium nitrate arrived in Beirut on a Russian-owned vessel in 2013. It was stored at the port for six years without proper safety controls. If subjected to a fire in such bulk quantities and in poorly contained conditions, experts say the potential for detonation is strong. In the case of Beirut, it is believed that an external high temperature and nearby fire made the ammonium nitrate violently decompose into a giant solid form, creating a sort of super bomb that was felt up to a 150 kilometer radius. And as it melted, it started to decompose. And as it decomposes, it produces all these pockets of gas inside the ammonium nitrate. And as these pockets of gas, what happens with they produce pressure. And if you can imagine, suddenly you get all this gas producing a huge amount of pressure, and that shot the ammonium nitrate to detonate. Ammonium nitrate has been the cause of several accidental industrial explosions. In 1947, a massive explosion killed more than 500 people in Texas City after a ship carrying the chemical compound caught fire. Since things like fuel and heat can cause an explosion, ammonium nitrate cannot be stored near combustible substances. It also easily absorbs moisture. When it does that, the crystal-like substance becomes hard and traps heated gases inside. And when hot gas expands and has nowhere to go, it causes an extraordinary amount of pressure, triggering an explosion. So in general, it needs to be stored in an air-conditioned or cool area in sealed bags and in limited quantities. You shouldn't store them in a big pile. You mustn't. You have to store them in no bigger than one meter. That's definite. 
Because ammonium nitrate does have explosive properties, many countries have tight regulations when it comes to how it's stored. If you do, you know, store it incorrectly, be piled, let it get water, let it get old, then you have a fire. Well, yeah, so it sounds very, very unfortunate. And, and I feel sorry for the people in Beirut because they obviously, they had no idea. Lebanon is in mourning and there is mounting anger and questions surrounding the investigation that will hopefully provide more clarity to a city already dealing with many other crises. The twin clouds over Beirut will never be erased. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.